how beautiful are we this morning, children? Good morning to you all. We'll be looking at geography this morning. As your geography teacher, I will need to engage you on a topic this morning, location, position, and size of Nigeria. I come again, location, position, and size of Nigeria. When we say location, it means where it is found. Position where you are there, and then the size, how big or small you are. So we we'll look at, we we'll share together the objectives for this lesson before we continue. That is what we intend to achieve at the end of this lesson. One, at the end of this lesson, we should be able to, students should be able to describe the location and position of Nigeria with reference to our latitude, longitude, boundaries, and neighbors. Two, describe Nigeria by size and distance. Three, locate state, local government areas, and the headquarters on Nigeria maps, on Nigeria political map. Then we'll look at the content, what is location of Nigeria. Nigeria is located between four degrees north and 14 degrees north, four degrees north and 14 degrees north of the equator. Equator, remember, is a line that runs from the west to the east, dividing Nigeria, also dividing the, the earth into two equal hemispheres, the northern and the southern hemisphere. Then it is, she also, also bounded I will say it is, Nigeria is located between 4 degrees north and 14 degrees north of the equator. And she's also located between 3 degrees east and 15 degrees east of the Greenwich Meridian. Greenwich Meridian, we remember in our first term work, we also discussed about that. That runs from north to the south, dividing the earth also into two equal parts. Therefore, if you deduct 14, uh, 4 from 14, that is 4 degrees north, 14 degrees north, 14 minus 4 will give you 10 degrees north. That is the latitudinal extent of Nigeria. Then 15 degrees east minus 3 degrees east will also give you 12 degrees east. That is the longitudinal extent of Nigeria. We look at that here. This is Three, this is the longitudinal extent. Then this is the latitudinal extent. Four to 14, divide, uh, uh, 14 minus four will give you that latitudinal. This is the latitude and this is the longitude of Nigeria. East and then north. This is the latitude and the longitude of Nigeria. Then we need to look about another thing, the position. Where in your classes you have First position, second position. This is where this person is seen. Academically, this way you look at this person, where you say this person is. Position of Nigeria. In Africa continent, there is a sub-region called West Africa. That is this particular area. This is West Africa map. Nigeria is located in West Africa here. This is Nigeria in the map of West Africa. This is Nigeria there. So Nigeria is in West Africa, in Africa continent. She's surrounded by Francophones. That is French speaking countries that do not speak English, they speak French. Unlike Nigeria, we, we speak English. Apart from the Atlantic Ocean in the South that um, surround Nigeria, we have the Francophones. That's French speaking country also in the West Africa that surrounds Nigeria. In the West, Remember also, last time we talked about the map reading, four cardinal points, eight cardinal points, the north, the south, the east, and the west. In the north, Nigeria is bounded by Niger Republic. Well, that is when you go to the north, after the last state there, you enter Niger Republic. That is the boundary we have with another country. The country there is called Niger Republic in the north. We have another boundary in the west. That boundary is with a country also called Benin Republic. Then in the east, we also have another boundary with Cameroon Republic. Then in the north, northeast, we have talked about from the four cardinal points, you remember we get the eight cardinal points. So in the northeast, Nigeria is bounded by Chad Republic. Then in the south, I've said before, 
we have the Atlantic Ocean. That is where we, these are the boundaries Nigeria has. This is the position of Nigeria. Before you will look at this, before I talk further, we will need to have this together. This is Nigeria in the north. I've told you, Nigeria is bounded by Niger Republic or bounded with Niger Republic. This is the boundary here. This is the next country after Nigeria. This is the map of Nigeria. This is Niger Republic. Then in the south here, you have the Atlantic Ocean. This one that looks blue or blue color is the Atlantic Ocean. In the east here, this is Cameroon Republic. This is the eastern part of the country. Then in the west, it is Benin Republic, Republic of Benin. This is another country, this Republic of Benin. Then in the northeast, you have Lake Chad. This is where you have Chad here, in the northeast. Lake Chad is at the northeastern part of the Nigeria. That's what we have there. That's the country we bound. Lake Chad, Chad is a country of its own. Then Cameroon is a country of its own. After Nigeria in the east, you meet Cameroon. Then in the south, this is Atlantic Ocean. After Nigeria, you get to Atlantic Ocean, especially in Lagos here and Portacot. You just see the ocean. So that is the end. Other, that water is no more Nigeria. That is the boundary we have. The land before that water, where we have, our, we can do some things. That is where Nigeria stops. Then in the west, this is the Republic of Benin. Then in the north is after Kano, you are seeing here Kasina, you now go out. The last place there, you move out of Nigeria. The next state you see, oh sorry, next country you see is the Niger Republic. Then after that is Sahara Desert and other places. This is the position of Nigeria. Then we look about size of Nigeria. How big is Nigeria or how small in Nigeria? Nigeria is the fourth largest country in West Africa in terms of land not population. When you want to talk about population, Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa. Nigeria is very, uh, Nigeria has a very high population, but in terms of land area, we are fought in position. That is after the Niger Republic, Mali and Mauritania. The total land area is nine, two, three, six, seven, six, eight square kilometer. The distance from the north to south, you know, we know that the north to south is this, then west to east is this. So approximately from east to west, we have 1,300, this is this side. Then from north to south, we have 1,100 square kilometer. In terms of population, I say, it's the most populous in Africa. Over 200 million of people are living in Nigeria. We will look at this. We said Nigeria is the fourth largest country in West Africa. Let's look at it together. After Niger, this is Niger Republic. This is Mauritania. This is Mali. You can see the size of this. You can see the size of this place. You can see the size of this place. You can see this is Mali. Mali comes here, comes here, occupies this area, occupies this area. Of this area, of this is my size of Mali. Then this is Niger. Niger is having this land, this area, this area, this area, this area. Then this is Mauritania. Mauritania has this area come down like this. Don't mind the line that is crossed. That is not the end. This is a boundary. You are saying I'm just following. This is Mauritania. After this Niger, Mali, and Mauritania, you will to see here there is no other country bigger than Nigeria. This is Nigeria now, the fourth one. This is our site in West Africa. You see the size of Nigeria here. So that's why we say it is the fourth largest country in West Africa in terms of land area, not population. Remember, these countries we are said here, their population is not up to the population of Nigeria when it comes to population. We shall look at that in our subsequent uh, classes. That is population. This is Sahara Desert. We talk about the distance just now. 1,100 north to south. This is north, this is south. This is south, this is north. 1,100 square kilometer. Then we talk about the west to the east. This is west and this is east. That is 1,200 square kilometer. So this is the distance 
of Nigeria we're talking about. Then we need to also look at political divisions of Nigeria. Nigeria came into existence in 1914. Those of you who are students of history, you will understand by what I mean by that. Nigeria had independence in 1960. Then with that independence, there were just three regions. That is the North, the East, and the Western region. North had its headquarters, that is the Northern headquarters. All the Norths were having their headquarters in Kano, sorry, Kaduna. The East were having their headquarters in Enugu. And then the West were having their headquarters in Ibadan. Ibadan is in Southwest now. Enugu is in Southeast, just like that. But then it was just three, the North, the East, and the West. Not now that we have six geopolitical zones. Southwest, Southeast, Northwest, Northeast, North Central, just like that. But it was just free as at that time. So in 1960, Midwest was created, having Benin, that is a those states now, then it was called Benin, uh, Bendel State. It, and the Benin is still the headquarters. So the Midwest was formed. The Midwest was created out of the West. That, was, that is out of the region that the pardon was heading, the Midwest was removed, making Benin another headquarter. Then in 1976, Nigeria had 19 states. In 1988, total states were 21. Today, as we speak, we have 36 states at FCT. You should know that. So each government that come into power who have the way of saying, I want to add to the number of states. People are still agitating for that, that this state we, we are short of, uh, we are being marginalized that our states are not more, especially in the Southeast. We hear that we are just five states, where some are six, six, six. So those states could, could still be uh, expanded. Why that what I mean by expansion is some states could also be created out of those states later on. But for now, we're having 36 states and FCT. That is what you have in this uh, map of Nigeria, of the position of Nigeria. You, each state has a headquarter. For example, you have Kassina, Kassina. The bigger one is the one that is showing the state. Why the smaller one under there is the capital of that particular state. Sokoto, Sokoto, you can see them here. You have a, a, a Bochi, Bochi. You see the Kaduna, Kaduna. You see them here, Abuja, FCT. Nasarawa, Lafia, they are under here. You know all these things in your primary school. Arabia, Umaya, Adamawa, Yola, Kwaibo, Uyo, just like that. You use them to sing in your nursery or primary school. These are the statistics states and their capital. Each of these states have their local government. For example, if I ask you to locate Lagos in the map, you should know that Lagos is in southwest. You shouldn't go to this side, this is not. You shouldn't go to the northeast. You shouldn't go to the southeast. You shouldn't go to the northwest. You should know that Lagos is in southwest of the country. Lagos has its quarter in Ikeja presently. Then we have Koshofe, that is the region we have. So there are other local governments also. So in each of these states also, we have their local governments. All right, uh, before we call it a day, we need to have a few recap or small recap of what we have said. I've said that the location of Nigeria. Nigeria is in western part of Af uh, Africa. We say Nigeria is found or is located in West Africa, in Africa continent. We have also said that the position of Nigeria, uh, Nigeria is fourth largest country in that West Africa. We've also gone further to discuss the longitude and the latitudinal aspect, we said the four degrees north to 14 degrees north of the equator, three degrees east to 15 degrees east of the Greenwich Meridian. That is longitudinal extent, 12 degrees east, then latitudinal extent, 10 degrees north. We have also talked about uh, the states and the capitals that are seen in Nigeria. We talked about the the boundaries also, that is the, where we have the boundaries in the north, the south, 
the East and the West. We said that the North Nigeria is bounded in the position Nigeria is bounded by Niger Republic in the South by Atlantic Ocean, in the West by Niger uh, Republic, sorry, by Benin Republic, in the East by Cameroon Republic, then North East by Chad Republic, and the South Atlantic Ocean. That is the water that we see there. Then we've also discussed about the size of Nigeria. We said it's the fourth largest country in West Africa in terms of land area and not population. Remember I told you, Nigeria is the most populous country in Africa, not even West Africa. But in terms of land area, we are, in, uh, we are the number four, or we are the fourth position. We also say that Nigeria is surrounded by Francophones. That is countries that speak French, not English, apart from the Atlantic Ocean at the south. We also look at, uh, look at the states and the capitals and the, how the boundaries are in the north, the east, the south, and in the west. We we'll look forward to having you next time. Please look for your assignment on the portal and do it. Thank you very much. God bless you all.